This video presents a fun pirate puzzle. Six ruthless pirates have to decide how to divide 100 pieces of gold. And they're going to follow the following rules in making this decision. They're going to say the first pirate in alphabetical order will propose a division. Then they'll vote. If 50% or more of the pirates agree, they'll divide the gold this way. But if less than 50%, of the pirates agree to the proposed division, they kill the pirate who made the proposal, and then the pirate who's next in alphabetical order makes a new proposal. If this pirate's offer to divide the gold is accepted by 50% or more of the pirates, then that's what they do. But if less than 50% accept, they kill that pirate, and then they continue with the next one in alphabetical order. Now the rules are the pirates can't make binding promises. You can't promise to do something that it won't be in your interest to do in the future. And the pirates will always vote for their preferred outcome. Let's further assume that although the pirates enjoy killing each other, they like gold more. And finally, we'll, we'll, to make things simple, all the pirates' names are Abe, Ben, Cindy, Dan, Ed, and Frank. So Abe proposes a division. If 50% or more accept, that's it, the game ends. But if less than 50% accept, they kill Abe and Ben makes the proposal. If 50% or more accept Ben's proposal, the game ends. If not, they kill Ben and Cindy makes the proposal. And so on and so on. Okay, what do you think will happen? You know, if, if this kind of puzzle interests you, why don't you pause the video and work it out for yourself? And this, this, by the way, is a big hint on the next slide. If you just want to watch the next slide and then decide for yourself, that would be okay too. A big hint to solving this puzzle is that you should solve backwards. First assume that five pirates are dead, just one is alive. What should he propose? Then assume there are uh, two pirates that are alive. What will they do, taking into account what will happen if one of the two pirates there dies, and so forth until you're at the very beginning of the game. So let's imagine that, there, that five of the six pirates have died, and only Frank is left. What should Frank do? Well, it's easy. Frank should propose that Frank gets 100 pieces of gold. There's only one pirate left, so Frank is the only one who gets to vote, and he'll of course vote in favor. So if there's only one pirate left alive, that pirate says, I get everything, and he'll agree. So this is important because Frank now knows what happens if every other proposal gets rejected. If the five other pirates make proposals and these proposals get rejected, Frank knows he'll be in the situation where he gets all the gold. All right. Now what if four pirates have been killed and only two are left, Frank and Ed? What should happen? Ed makes a proposal. Well, the rules of this game are you only need 50% or more to accept a proposal. So Ed knows that he really only needs his own vote because if he votes yes and Frank votes no, the proposal passes. Just, you know, the ar we have the arbitrary rule you only need 50% to accept. So Ed knowing, hey, you know, I only need my vote to win. I'm going to vote that I get everything. Frank won't like it, but by the rules of this game, he can't do anything. So if we get to the situation where there are only two pirates left, Ed will vote for him to get everything, and he'll, you know, he'll propose that he gets everything. Ed will say yes. Frank will say no, but Ed will win because you only need 50% uh, or more. So now Ed knows if you ever get down to two pirates, Ed gets everything. But also Frank knows if you ever get down to just two pirates, Frank will get nothing. All right, now it starts to get a bit complicated if we're down to three pirates. We're down to three pirates, Frank, Ed, and Dan. And Dan is the one who makes the proposal. Now there's three pirates, you need 50% um, or more for the proposal to be accepted. So Dan knows that he needs one other person to accept his proposal or he's gonna die. So he really wants to get one other person to accept his proposal. What's the easiest, what's the easiest way that Dan can get someone else to accept his proposal? Well, if we get to the next round, if Dan's proposal is rejected, 
what will happen is Ed will propose that Ed gets everything. So that means Frank knows that if Dan's proposal is rejected, Frank gets nothing. So all Dan has to do is say, Frank, I will give you one gold piece under my proposal. That way, Frank will say, well, yeah, I'd rather get one gold piece with this proposal than get nothing, which is all Ed is going to ever offer me. So Frank should be willing to accept Dan's proposal if Dan offers to give Frank anything. So Dan should give Frank the least he has to, which is one gold piece, and Dan will keep the other 99. Ed will, of course, vote against this, but the proposal will still pass two in favor, one against. So now everyone knows that if we make it to where only three pirates are left, Dan does very well, he gets 99, Frank gets just one, and Ed gets nothing. Now let's consider what happens if we're down to four pirates, and Cindy's the one who makes the proposal. Well, if you've got four pirates, you're going to need two to accept the proposal. Cindy will be one of them, because remember, if your proposal is rejected, you get killed. Who can Cindy most easily bribe to accept a proposal? It's going to be Ed. Because if Cindy's proposal is rejected, then Dan will make the proposal. And remember, we, that was the last slide. Dan makes the proposal in which Ed gets nothing, and that proposal is accepted. So if you give Ed won, Ed should be willing to accept. So if Cindy Cindy will say, I'll get 99 and vote for this proposal, and I'll give Ed one, and Ed should accept the proposal because if Ed were to vote no, we then go to the, the round in which Dan makes a proposal, and then Dan would give Ed nothing, and that proposal would be accepted. So because in the next round, Ed would get nothing, and the game would end in that round, Cindy only has to offer Ed one. So Cindy will say if it gets to be her turn to make a proposal, I'm going to take 99 for myself, I'll give one to Ed. This will be accepted. Frank and Dan will vote no, Ed and Cindy will vote yes, and by our rules that's enough. So if we know we make it to where only four pirates are alive, Frank and Dan will get nothing, Ed and Cindy will each get something. Now let's look at what happens if there are five pirates alive. So this is a situation that would manifest if Abe made a proposal, it was rejected, Abe was killed, and it was then Ben's chance to make a proposal. With five pirates alive, you need three to accept. So Ben knows, you know, his own vote, he knows I need two other pirates to accept this proposal or I'm going to die. Who would be the easiest people for Ben to convince to join him and to accept his proposal? Well, if Ben's proposal is rejected, then Cindy will make a proposal that will cause Frank and Dan to get nothing. That was our last slide. So Frank and Dan know that if Ben's proposal is rejected, Cindy will make a proposal that causes them to get nothing and that proposal will be accepted. So Frank and Dan should be willing to accept Ben's proposal if they get any positive amount. So Ben should offer Frank and Dan one each. That will be enough for Ben to get 50% or more of the voters, and this proposal should be accepted. The reason that Ben doesn't try to get Ed to accept the proposal is that Ed in the next round would get one. Cindy would offer him one, and remember the pirates like killing each other, so you'd have to offer Ed more than one for him to accept Ben's offer, and it's easier, it's cheaper for Ben simply to give Frank and Dan one than it is to give Ed more than one, Ed and one other pirate more than one. So if Abe dies, the situation we have is Ben gets 98, Dan will get one, and Frank will get one. All right, now we're ready to solve the game. Let's assume everyone is alive. The game just started. People understand if Abe's proposal is rejected, Ben will make a proposal, that's the last slide, in which Ed and Cindy get nothing. So Abe's proposal to be accepted, since there are now six pirates alive, he needs to get two other votes besides his own. 
what are the easiest votes to get? Well, the easiest votes to get are the people who expect to get nothing if Abe's proposal is rejected, and that's Ed and Cindy. So what Abe will do is say, I, I propose that Ed gets one, that Cindy gets one, and I get 98. And this is indeed the final outcome because we start with all the pirates alive. If you enjoyed this puzzle or you're worried you'll be asked about this puzzle on an exam, why don't you extrapolate? I did it with six pirates. Assume there are 10 pirates and try to figure out what would happen then. Thank you. Goodbye.